Today I'm trying to update my Kindle to the latest software version available, uh, which is uh, 5.13.7. Uh, so let us see how I can do that. So if initially you have to go to the settings. You need to click uh, from your home screen in your Kindle. You have to go to this three dots ellipsis here, and then you should click on settings. After you get to settings, you can check for device options, and then look at device info. It shows my current version is uh, 5.13.6. That's the firmware I'm running, and I have looked. Um, I have I've known that dot uh, seven has been released right now. Um, so I just need to go to advanced options and then see if my Kindle has been selected for an OTA update. Looks like it is not because this option is grayed out. Update your Kindle, right? This is grayed out. If it's not grayed out, you can click on that and then proceed. But right now it's not. So what I have to do is I have to uh, download the Kindle version and then uh, kind of flash the version myself. So as you can see, 5.13.6 and then I will download 5.13.7 and I'll show you how. So go to your laptop, type google.com and then search for Kindle Paperwhite 2015 generation latest firmware update. Mine is a Kindle Paperwhite 2015. You need to search for your own or you can search for Kindle e-reader software updates or just say Kindle software updates. You will get to this place, right? Uh, you know, Kindle e-reader software updates. Just open that one. Try to find which Kindle is yours. Mine is a Kindle Paperwhite seventh generation. This one from 2015. Okay. So I just click on download software update. It will download and then it will say in your downloads folder. Okay. That's where it is saved. After you download that, you just need to connect your Kindle to your computer. So I've connected the uh, one end of the, the USB end into the computer and then uh, the, the B end into the Kindle. As soon as you connect based on the autoplay settings on your computer, what happens is uh, the Kindle goes into USB drive mode and then it opens a folder here, which is Kindle G. You see that um, the all the information is here this is the root of your kindle all you need to do do at this point is go to your downloads folder and this is what i have downloaded right the kindle new paperwhite 5.13.7 bin and i'll copy that go back to the this place and then paste it this is our our Kindle root okay once you place it here it, it gets copied so let's wait for that to happen so it's getting copied Now the copying is done. So what you need to do is just click refresh once here and then try to eject your Kindle the right way. Eject Amazon Kindle and then physically eject the Kindle. Right. Now make sure that your Kindle is sufficiently charged. Now let's go to advanced options. You see update your kindle is available now earlier it was grayed out right all i need to you have this option two places you click here you have update your kindle right here in this ellipsis or else you can do it from here as well you just need to click on update your kindle okay now the process began let me time it so the software is updating I'm actually timing it. I was a little bit delayed finding the stopwatch on my computer. I never used it. So let's add half a minute to this. Almost finishing. We are 255 mark. 
so let's add half a minute conservatively to it because I was late now the update actually finished I think now it's going to restart so exactly like four minutes and from earlier times I remember that the flashing file that you download into the Kindle is automatically deleted by Kindle. You need not go and check for it, but we will do it either way to see if that works the same way or not, such that you don't have that extra step if I check it out for you and let you know. Now is when the re restart is happening. We are at 4.10, so which means it's 4.40. Let's keep watching. Almost done. Let's say five and a half minute, maybe. So it has restarted. So I'm going to pause the stopwatch. Enter the code. So it is done. And also um, one more thing that I wanted to let you know at this point is um, when you do an update, uh, you know, uh, this way with a file downloaded, you need not connect your Kindle back to your computer just to delete that file because once the um, Kindle updates itself, the firmware, that file is already removed. So you need not go and delete it. So this is a new Kindle version. You have the home and library uh, back here. So this is one of the new things uh, in the latest version. And then there is um, a notification panel kind of thing over here and with uh, you know quick uh, three settings and then uh, there is a quick button for all settings okay so let's go to the device op device options and then look at um, uh, device info you see that there is a new line that's been added uh, in this uh, firmware the kindle paperwhite 7 generation so you will be able to know your device as well as the generation of the device on the top and there is a space available um, sorry the latest firmware version is 5.13.7 which we were trying to uh, you know update so i do not know if i like it or not um, you know the more i use it uh, the more i will know because earlier it used to show a lot of things here uh, like home uh, different kind of things maybe that will happen when i'm in a book the same way it used to happen earlier let's see that okay tap the icon on the uh, tap, tap on the icon to exit your book and go back to your home okay this one the back button so i don't intend to do that now but looks like this area the total area has changed so you will get to use it and uh, understand uh, what's going on so There's a font changer. Um, I actually am not sure if I like it or not because earlier I used to be able to change uh, the brightness from right here. Instead, I need to do another click right now to change the brightness, right? Earlier, the brightness used to appear right here in this menu. Mm, okay, let's see how it works out. Uh, once I start using it, then I will definitely know. Thank you for watching everybody.